It's 11 o'clock. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to our 30 minutes art chat, our weekly art chat. Um, the purpose for those one who never been here, the purpose of this chat is to um, be in touch with our friends, with our collectors, and also let you know uh, about what we are doing, what's new with us, and what we are working on. Right, John? Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, today I'm launching my new swag. Art <laughs> Oh, nice. Well, Don said you're going to have to put it up here somewhere because it doesn't show up on the camera. But uh, so we now are official. We have swag. We want to do some um, a little housekeeping at the beginning of the show. Um, the show is live on Facebook as well. So if you guys out there on Facebook um, are watching us, I want to let you know that we cannot uh, read your comments or listen to your questions. But if you have some, please do leave a comment in um, in the comments. I don't know how to say it. And uh, we will be answering everything as soon as possible. Yeah, we can't necessarily see it live. Yeah. And, and, and the most important thing is whatever you see in our chats, all the art talks, artworks are for sale. So if you like something, please do reach to us and um, we'll, uh, we'll be glad to, to chat with you about this. Absolutely. And anything that's for sale, we can ship anywhere in the world. So it, it's not, there's no, there's no limitation there. But uh, delighted. And I also wanted to acknowledge we've got Anita, who is in South Africa. Uh, who's joining us, but she doesn't isn't able to do her camera or, or, or microphone. So she's she's talking to us on chat. It's great to have you all. And uh, saying this, I think it's time to uh, officially start the, the show. Fabulous. Now, what's new with us? Um, you know, we we working all the time and um, uh, last weekend was the Easter weekend and I had a little time for myself. I had a little time to go out there in the world and explore a little bit. So, um, you know, some time ago I uh, discovered this uh, wreck of a car in a forest uh, somewhere in Huntsville, Texas. And um, I, did, I wasn't pleased at the time with the results, so I had time now to go back and re-photograph the way I want it. And I think the results are fabulous. So I put together a little time lapse of how these things happen. You know, I go there and take a thousand pictures and come back to the studio and work for hours until I get the final result. And here is printing. And uh, this is the um result of that uh, photo shoot but i Look at the difference wow yes uh, i have it here actually printed and framed and matted you know it's 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 nothing new i'm attracted to this uh, wreck anything uh, that's sort of images uh, something that uh, where, where time you know leave imprints on everything and i find this car which just explains as, our marriage yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway listen how do you uh, sorry to interrupt how do you get the uh, the illumination inside the cab of the truck that's that, that's amazing you know when i photographed it before uh, i had the same problem uh, there is there's so much going on inside the car and it was too dark but this time i went to with a flashlight mm -hmm. and i i I put it in various points inside the inside the car, and then in Photoshop I remove the black parts and I make it all lit so that has something magic inside there. You make, yeah, it, it looks like it, the radio's on. Or yes, something. It's, it's almost <laughs> like uh, um, uh, how do you call this? Um, how do you call that series? The upside down, upside down. Um, oh, uh, what was it called? It doesn't ah, matter. We're the upside down. I, I can't remember. It's a very popular TV anyway, show. Anyway, kind of magic sort of images. But, you know, I had uh, two. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. That was it. And um, yeah, so this is what I've done new. This is what I have available. Um, new items actually available uh, for this open Saturday 
here mm-hmm. at Silver Sea Studios. So if you guys are um, free this weekend, come at Silver Sea Studios. Uh, we are open from 12 to 5, and you can acquire these amazing prints. Yeah, we've got actually a whole string of things. We've got second Saturday, this coming Saturday, mm-hmm. 12 to 5. Then we're open the third Saturday, 12 to 5. And then the last Saturday of the month, we have our big biennial celebration that uh, we obviously have twice a year. It's been pretty quiet because of COVID. So we've got our big, it's an evening event from five to nine. So uh, we're, we're here every Saturday for the rest of the month. Fabulous. Let me reshare the screen because there's something going on there. Oh, you want to talk about yourself? Oh, that's lovely, Bogdan. Thanks for that. <laughs> photo. <laughs> that photo keeps turning up. I don't know why. What's new with me? Uh, let's see a couple of things. Do I have a slide or is it just me talking? It's just you talking. Just me you, talking. Can't, you can't ruin the surprise, right? The, uh, um, a couple of things. One is that you guys know that I do all these, these heads. I just can't keep from doing these little cartoon faces. So I, I reached out to, uh, uh, some, to a group, uh, the artists, uh, uh, art, artists don't be poor in in Berlin, and uh, there's a lot a lot of artists there. In fact, Anita is is in the same group. And uh, one of the I said, anybody want me to do their their character? So now, if, uh, this is uh, uh, a lady from uh, Germany who wrote back and said, sure, do my picture. So I've I've done this. So if anybody out there, I'm running out of ideas on how to make funny little faces. So if you, uh, you want me to do your portrait, I cannot guarantee that it will actually look like you. That's, uh, that's secondarily important, but uh, I'm happy to do that. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's fun. It keeps me, keeps me fresh. Also, uh, you can see the work behind me that you saw last time. Uh, this is a new series that I've started. Um, and I, I'm trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out what to do with it. And I actually went a little crazy. And what I'd like to do is, is I've got this, my first solo exhibition coming up in July, and I'm going to t- turn these into my new collection for that show. And I started thinking, okay, this is a, this is a kind of a turning point for me because it's my first exhibition. Uh, and uh, it took me 60 years to get here. So I thought, okay, great. I will have this exhibition and I will continue to have a series of exhibitions once every five years until I'm 80. So I'll do 20 images every five years, 100 images until I'm 80. And uh, uh, so each, uh, it's just a way of kind of organizing oh. my path as an artist. And I'm pretty excited about the, the opportunity. It's lovely how you plan in advance for, for a long period of time. I don't know well, that about just means you, I have to stay alive. I don't know about Elena. She's a Romanian like I am. My life is like in shorts and in very little steps. Well, the thing is, I think there's an absolute, there's, there's a path that we all go down, certainly as, as creatives. And even though I am just really an emerging artist in painting, I, I come to this with a, with a whole lifetime of experience and, and skills. So I'm not starting from scratch, but I'm starting, I am starting. So I, I thought of a, a way to kind of chronicle the fact that this, this journey is the important part. And I figure, uh, in fact, it was uh, John Ross Palmer who said, uh, you know, it took him 20 years to get where, he's, where he is in his career. And I thought, well, that's great. I got 20 years. <laughs> so I'll, I'll start my own path. Anyway, it's just an exciting bit, and, and you'll hear more about it as it gets closer to July. But I'm not going to release any, you won't see any other images than this one, because I already let the cat out of the bag. But that's what's new with me. Sorry, it went a little too long. I, I, I did see them, and they are fabulous. Well, I mean, love with them. we're not done yet. Anyway, so let's uh, share the screen and move forward. Let's see what is there. Uh, what else can you... Do you need to know about us? Oh. Uh, this is a reminder about uh, the group ex- exhibition here in Silver Sea Studios. And actually, um, the end date has been changed now to June 
sixth or something like that. Oh, that's true. I just saw the email. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys are welcome anytime. Uh, the gallery itself, it's open Monday to Saturday, um, uh, 10 o'clock till 5, 5 o'clock p.m. And um, of course, you can come in any of these um, events, uh, open Saturdays, second Saturday, mm -hmm. third Saturday, and um, for the biannual. Um, can you remind us the biannual when it is, John? I can't remember. It's the last weekend. It's, is that the 24th? Um, the last Saturday of the month. Nice. I'm pulling up a calendar now. And uh, those are my submissions, the initial submission of the show. And um, there is Cognition and Drift. Those are kind of unique in a way because they are printed on plexiglass. Like, it's not a medium I use, but uh, I want to try something new and they look fabulous. They look fabulous. And um, uh, Upright is uh, Petal Lines. It's a 14 by 14 printed on uh, cotton rug paper. And it's a, um, it's a lovely, lovely image, very, very soft. When you say cotton rag, what, what, what is the significance of that? That this is a, um, a, like a fine art paper. Um, it's uh, museum quality. Um, it's ensured that will never get yellow uh, mm -hmm. or um, uh, nor the, the ink will fade on. Right. There, it's a permanent archival image. Excellent. And... Um, Yesterday, we've been asked to add two more artworks on this uh, uh, exhibition. And uh, those are my submissions. Uh, the one on the very left, I'm going to talk about it today. Uh, it's Midtown, and here's on the right is um, City People. And uh, those are your entries for the show. These are my entries. Uh, Aututaki uh, is uh, one in the Cartographic Distraction series. It's uh, uh, about 9 by 12 and um, just an abstract, but I, I think the series is really, really interesting. Then I have uh, Firebright, which is uh, part of my fire series, and uh, that one is 16 by 20. It's acrylic on canvas. And then I have Drums, which is part of my um, Dreamtime collection that I've talked about in the past, but this one's out on exhibition. It's also on paper. Uh, it's acrylic on paper. Oh, it's multi, some mixed media. And you had the ones that I have. And then of course we, we were told we could add two more. So we, I put up, she's watching. Oh my God. I love this one. You can see her yard stick sticking out there. She's ready to strike. And then uh, the, the other yellow one down there is called seed. Uh, just a weird abstract of mine that I actually enjoy quite a lot. Yeah. Be so those are the, the ones that we've added. Basically what happened was the exhibition fi didn't fill up the entire building. So now they're letting us kind of backfill. Uh, so it's going to be a, a, a lovely exhibition when it's all done. And here is a reminder of a second Saturday. Um, all right. So we're moving forward and um, the first uh, artwork I want to introduce to you today. It's called Midtown. And uh, it's a uh, from the series In Motion, a series that I started to work on in 2018. I wanted something different. I wanted something, uh, a modern approach, uh, somewhat abstract, but not so that you don't understand what it is. And um, they have, uh, uh, basically, I'm, I'm painting with a camera. I'm leaving the camera on a long exposure, and then um, I'm, I'm moving it as I take the pictures. You know, I can't tell you what people on the street say when they see me doing that. Um, <laughs> but but uh, the result, I think, is fabulous. And, uh, you know... Uh, I have a question. Yeah. This, this particular, you showed us some work before uh, in the Synapsis series, and it was basically layers and layers and layers of images that were kind of stacked on each other. Mm -hmm. Is this the same kind of composition? Actually, no. This is a um, one shot, basically, with, with very wow. little Photoshop uh, here and there just to, to, to adjust some shadows or brightness. 
but otherwise it's um, this is what camera does um, a, a lot of them it's if you want it's in purpose but it, it has it has a, a little accidental um, percentage into it because you never plan for what you're gonna get mm -hmm. And uh, why is this um, special, this Midtown? It's a large print, actually. It's a 36 by 36, and it's printed on canvas. I don't print usually on canvases, uh -huh. but I wanted to try a new medium, and I think the result, it's fantastic. And, and also, uh, sometimes with, with paper, when you go so large, you have to really, you have to dry them out the paper, and you, it, the canvas is just a... a a, a better way to go large sometimes. Yes, I mean, uh, with paper, it's another um, animal because on, on this large prints, you literally would have to um, dry mount it because uh -huh. especially in places like in Houston, you will, um, they will, they will warp over time. But now uh, I kind of... Did uh, you see, uh, Ryan had a question. It's, this is actually a street in... Houston, right? Um, just a sec. Yes, uh, all the pictures in this um, uh, series are done in downtown Houston, but mm -hmm. they are abstract, um, so that I can't. Uh, they they won't. They will. They will. They can be placed anywhere. You know. Right. That they're, they're Houston, but they they could be anywhere. Uh, I remember a, a gentleman came in to buy one in the other series, uh, impression series. And he says, uh, which building is that? I think that's my office. And we said, sir, if you're buying, that's your office. <laughs> and it's, uh, they, they, if, you wanna, if you wanna go and see the whole series, please um, check out my website, bogdanphotoart.com. And uh, under the portfolio uh, tab, tab, you will see the In Motion series. Moving forward now, because we don't wanna run out of time. The second uh, piece of artwork that I prepared today is called a drift. It's uh, uh, from a marine series, if you want. Um, it's taken in Malta. And um, unfortunately, for now, this is available only by request. It's not yet uh, for sale on my website. So if you do like this kind of uh, theme, please get in touch with me um, uh, by email or chat, and we'll get back to you. Um, as I said, it was taken in Malta, um, and I don't want you to look like it's a uh, holiday picture. <laughs> um, you know, floating boats by the edge of the water, uh, to me, induce a sense of calm, uh, meditation, and tranquility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now Malta's boats are very special because they are right. very colorful, and you won't see in this particular one, but... Uh, uh, they have eyes, and uh, what that means is uh, a symbol of good health, and also it says that protects fishermen when um, are out at sea. Yeah, they all have you know, eyes. What, what, what beautiful stories. And it's a 16, and by, it's a 16 by 20 image, um, and there are only 25 uh, in this edition. All right, so this is a piece that's actually kind of behind me as well. This one is called Glyph. It's a uh, uh, 36 by 24 uh, acrylic on canvas. Uh, and I'm playing with the idea actually of, of how pictures can function like letters in the alphabet, like language, that, that we have certain symbols that we use to communicate thought. And there are symbols, artistic symbols and, and that do the same thing non-verbally. So I just, I've really been playing with how to do that. One of the ways I've done is, uh, as you have seen those small heads that I do on actual pages of books. Uh, and so here I, I've put a lot of symbols in with this uh, abstract painting. The idea that there is some sort of message going on and it doesn't really matter what that message is. Unfortunately, people come into the studio and they recognize that language. Uh, which is very, very frightening because I just made it up and said, no, 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 those are real. No, they're not, <laughs> unless they think I've channeled them from another dimension. But uh, 
but the fact that they're reacting to the painting, I think, is is probably a good sign. Uh, so anyway, that was that was one uh, that I've been playing with. And uh, Bogdan, can we move on to the smaller? Sigur, of course. I was just about to answer in Romanian for some reason. Ah, da. Da. And then I have a series here. This is called Glyph Number Seven, and, and I've got it here framed as well. Uh, it's a nine by nine by twelve on paper, and I did a whole series of these that is trying to incorporate, kind of suggesting the idea of language through collage, uh, and and then putting other things that look like they could be symbols uh, mm -hmm. and mixing them together. And I really like the look of them. I've got quite a few in that series uh, that are all available on the website as well. But uh, the whole idea, and I, I actually entered these for competition uh, in Mexico, three different uh, exhibitions in Mexico, haven't heard back yet. But the whole idea that there is this, this visual language that has nothing to do with, with the, I guess, the conscious mind, but just subconscious mm -hmm. uh, reaction. Anyway, so those are, those are the two I wanted to share today. Uh, I, I enjoy them quite a bit. Do you, do you have them around you? I, I do have the small one. The, the big one is behind me. Uh-huh. There's glyph. And then uh, this is glyph number seven. And I think there's thir 12, 13 in the series. Mm -hmm. And of course, the the frame can be changed to a sixteen by twenty, and with oh, yeah, a, lar with a larger mat, they, yeah. they look fantastic. Yes, mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't, uh, I haven't got the chance to share with you uh, the actual print of uh, a drift. Mm -hmm. Now that we have uh, two minutes it's left, uh, I want to share yeah. this with you. And uh, behind me, it's the Midtown uh, uh, photograph that's on canvas and that it's actually uh, framed as well in a aluminum uh, black with silver edge. It looks very, very sharp. Excellent, excellent. Guys, do you have any questions? Elena. No, no questions. I really enjoyed this though. I love your work, both of I you. I think we should all dance like Alex. And, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're, you're kind of the end. Yes, I think we should hire Alex to do Yes, as our publicist. For, Anybody for, with that much energy. For those, um, you know, too quiet, too calm -y shows, bring Alex on. Magnificent. I think we're pretty much uh, ready to, to go here. And we, we want to acknowledge that uh, Anita is... Um, uh, here from South Africa, you said, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, Elena so is here in town. Um, so we are all over the world, actually. Uh, what are the hours for the um, open studio this weekend? 12 to 5. Um, some of us are around earlier than that, but that's the, kind of the official, the official time. And, and of course, the, the, the exhibition coming, the uh, event coming up on the 24th, the uh, biennial, that's a big deal. They'll have food trucks and, mm -hmm. you know, could be belly dancers for all I know. But uh, it's, it's a big event uh, that all, and all of the studios are open. So there's what we have over 300 artists uh, through six different buildings. So, mm -hmm. you know, you have to pace yourself. <laughs> and I have a lot of work. I'm just organizing the studio now. So yeah, mine's a, you know, you can see, if I turn this, you'll see that uh, there's big open walls and, and I, reconstructing I, the place, trying to get ready. I have uh, little pails of artworks, you know, people, some people like to go and browse these hidden corners and they will always find something interesting and it's part of the experience. Absolutely. Well, wonderful. Guess, thanks so much, everybody, for coming. We're doing this every week. This is our sixth week now. Thank um, you all. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you next time. Absolutely. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Have a great week.